Thelma the Unicorn is a new Netflix animated film based off of the popular children's story. So today, let's see if this new animated film is worth your time. Hey everybody, my name's Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services like Netflix. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. Thelma is a small time pony who dreams of becoming a glamorous music star. In pink and glitter filled moment of fate, Thelma is transformed into a unicorn and instantly rises to global stardom. However, this new life of fame comes at a cost. I have fond memories of reading Thelma the Unicorn to my daughter a few years back. I thought it was a really sweet story about staying true to who you are and forgiving others and just believing in yourself. But it had a nice progression of that message to we got a lot of it at the end and a lot of build up and it had a great payoff at the end of that story. Thelma the Unicorn, the new animated film, reminds us of that message quite often throughout the story. So much that we have the character of Otis played by Will Forte, who is her best friend. And when she has her little rise to stardom in the beginning of the movie, he says, okay, you know what? Maybe you just wanna come back to your normal life. She is really involved with this new stardom. She's starting to have a music career. She was a small time pony that now looks like a unicorn and she's not staying true to who she is. This movie just so, is so focused on that message to where in the story itself, it had that nice progression and it just flowed very naturally. With this movie, I think that they just played too much on that message. They wanted you to understand the message of believing in yourself, sticking to who you are, and don't let other people try to change who you are. And while I do think it's an important message for young children, it felt very repetitive to where it lost its momentum and it lost its importance because they just, like every other scene, they had to have Otis come in and try to have her come home and stay true to who she is. I think if they would have built up that important message at the end of the film, it would have had a better payoff. But I do think that Thelma the Unicorn is a decent film. The animation looks really good. You have a lot of bright moments when she becomes a unicorn. A lot of the musical moments in here really do pop. And I really did like Brittany Howard in here as Thelma the Unicorn. She found her confidence in the middle half of the movie. She was really unsure of herself in the beginning. And we were able to see that voice change for this character and how she was able to become more determined and more aware of what she was doing. And I like Brittany Howard's performance in Heroes. And Will Forte as Otis is great as well. I like Will Forte and he brings a sense of calmness to this character. He's missing his best friend. He's missing his best friend. And you hear those sincere moments within Will Forte's voice. The pacing for the film moves very quick as we get Delma turned into the unicorn pretty quickly within the movie. She has her chance of a record deal and she becomes really popular. It gets to her head quite often. And, and we get to see her live this new life and how it really does change her. But filled throughout this movie is a lot of humor. Also, I liked some of the jokes in here and some of the situations that Thelma and Otis and all the other characters get themselves into. There's enough amount of poppy, bright music and upbeat scenes to keep kids entertained. But I really wish that message would have been strengthened to have a bigger impact at the end of the movie rather than just trying to have it every other scene to this important message of this is not who you are. You need to stick to your roots and return home and be your true self. I think that is a very important good story for kids to understand but it came so often within the movie that it really just lost any sense of urgency and importance along the way. But I do think it was a cute little animated film. I like the story, I've read it many times to my daughter, so we were looking forward to checking out this film. The voice acting is great, the humor is there, the bright color sequences are fun. They just try to drown this movie with that message and I don't think it flowed very naturally throughout. But I do recommend checking it out if you really did like reading the story, if you have read it to your children and they enjoyed the story as well. I think there's gonna be enough in here to please a family when watching the movie. 
So before I give you my score for Thelma the Unicorn, and make sure to check out my channel here. I do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. If you'd like to see where Thelma the Unicorn ranks amongst all the other 2024 releases I've seen this year, follow me on Letterboxd and there you can find my ranking. I'm going to go ahead and give Thelma the Unicorn a B-. Thank you guys for checking out my review for Thelma the Unicorn. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just to Watch These Movies and you guys stay classy too.